Yo, alrighty guys, we're back with more battles from the Premier Challenge Tournament here in Kaye. Um This is round five. Uh, this is now the top cut. Um, the the top four players. Uh, everyone else was eliminated at this point, and the top four players were the ones that were uh, competing. Uh, they let us go home. I mean, they let us go eat lunch for like an hour, and we were supposed to come back around one. And when I got back, the top cut was there. I was at. I was first in stand. I was first in. Uh, I was in first place in the standings. After me was Eric. After Eric was Christian Molina. I think his last name was uh, Zek. And then in uh, fourth place was um, uh, Ad Adniel. So. I mean, these guys are real good. I mean, everyone there was good, but these guys were, you know, they were able to make it to the final uh, round with me. Um, and when I got back to battle, uh, Adniel was not around. They they called for, uh, they called, you know, they called us up to to start the battle, and Adniel didn't show up. So I was a little worried. I thought he maybe had gone home or something, or I guess maybe he didn't. I thought he didn't uh, get the memo that he was supposed to come back at one or something, um, but you know I had to wait a while, and I was thinking that I was probably going to win by default, which is kind of funny because every tournament I've ever been in uh, online, uh, usually I progress at least one round because of a no show or somebody you know drops the match, and <laughs> it was funny that it was almost going to happen in an actual physical tournament, you know, one that you're, you're there in person. Uh, once again, I was going to have a victory where my opponent didn't show up. But uh, luckily, uh, eventually, Adniel did show up, uh, and we were able to have our match. Now, Adniel was, he was really good, and it was, like, he was a little, like, at this point, I'm feeling real confident, but I was a little worried because he, he takes really long to make his decisions, and you know that's a good thing because he, you know, it, it means he's thinking about every option. You know, he because uh, I tend to just go with the first uh, instinct that I have uh, when I'm battling. I, you know, I, I will think about my moves on occasions, but um, usually I'm like the first one to make their decision. And uh, he was he was really taking his time with his decisions. Um, so anyway, the in this round. Round five was going to consist of uh, maximum three matches. It was best two out of three. Uh, this is the first round against Adniel. So finally, let's uh, get down to the good stuff. All right, there he is. So Adniel uh, is going to lead with um, Bruce Lee and Susanao. Sus wait, Sus how do you say that? Susanao or something like that, and that is uh, Mian Shao and Rio Nyklis. Now, uh, Mian Shao scares me, and Rio Nyklis does as well, because you know, I thought Rio Nyklis had a uh, Focus Blast, and, you know, Bruce Lee is a fighting type. I'm going to Digivolve here, uh, just to get some, uh, you know, power behind my attacks, and I'm expecting a fake out on Obama Snow, which he does, so that's, you know, that's fine. Uh, I'm not too worried about that at this point, but um, I get the reflect up, so I don't have to worry about a, a powerful uh, high jump kick from Mensha. But uh, he surprised me here with uh, Flash Cannon. I, I didn't even know Rio Nyklas learned that move. That's, uh, I've never seen it with that move. I don't know if you guys have, but anyway. So I'm going to follow up with uh, Ice Shard because I know uh, Mensha is really quick. And he does go for the U-turn, so he switches out. And that's great because it's going to give him another fake out later. So it's a smart move because uh, I was going for a, uh, I think it was a, a hurricane. Yeah, but uh, he switches into Sea King, which he named Dorothy, uh, and uh, Dorothy evades the attack, and then he gets a nice trick room up. So that sucks. And I didn't pull up the Tailwind because I figured that Rayo Nyklas was probably going to use trick room because uh, Rayo Nyklas has really low speed, and a lot of his Pokemon uh, on his team are pretty slow. So uh, his trick room would make perfect sense. So now I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb on uh, Seed King, and it does land, so that's great. So Seed King is brought down um, early. I was expecting a Rain Dance from Seed King, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't get to do anything. Uh, and then I follow up with Blizzard here, just to uh, get some damage on Rayo Nyklas. 
And I'm hoping Rayo Knight just doesn't pull off a recover anytime soon. So now he's going to switch into Mian Shao, and I know he's going to go for another fake out, so I just switch out. Uh, might as well, you know? <laughs> and then uh, Suzano goes for a powerful flash cannon on my Articuno and takes it down. So uh, I think we're both down one Pokemon now at this point, and uh, things are getting pretty uh, rough now. So now I'm going to go back into Elsa. Uh, and. Susano pulls off a nice flash cannon. He's, uh, remember that the Trick Room is up, and that's why it's moving first. So I'm going to have uh, Elsa follow up with Seed Bomb. I was lucky I survived with that 5 HP. And then Frigidaire follows up with a nice Blizzard. So I'm hoping to take Rayo Nyquist out. Uh, but it does actually survive the attack. That thing is bulky as crap. Uh, but at least we were able to take out uh, Mansha. But now my hail is gone, and that's a problem, because my Blizzards are going to be at like 70... I think it's 70 or 75 accuracy. Uh, I'm going to go for the Ice Shard just to take out uh, Rayo Nyquist. Uh, priority moves are very important uh, in doubles. And Greninja goes for the uh, Shadow Sneak. And luckily, because the Trick Room was up, my priority move went first instead of Greninja's. If the Trick Room wasn't up, it would have been uh, reverse, and Greninja would have killed me before I could get that uh, Ice Shard out there. So that was great. So then I follow up with a nice Thunder, and luckily it lands. And I believe that's game. That's right, that's game. So, uh, Neil did great. Um, you know, that... Rayo Nyquist is a, is a really scary Pokemon because it, it takes hits really well and it's really strong. And then uh, Mian Xiao, of course, uh, has my weakness. So, uh, it, was a, it was a good match. Good game to Adniel. And I guess uh, round two is coming up next. So, uh, well, you know, round two of round five because uh, we had to... It was like best two out of three. So the next match, I had to win it. I had to. It was either that or have to battle them again. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.